Could you tell us since when are you in business and what is it that you exactly do? Bora Group uh, is in telecom business uh, for last 10 years, uh, but as far as international trading business is concerned, we are in international trading business for uh, almost four years now. So we are a group of companies uh, which is into diversified activities in telecom. We do manufacturing of chargers, power banks and some other accessories in India and we supply to various brands across the globe. Then we are also into distribution business in India. And uh, as far as international trading business is concerned, we are having a presence in China, Hong Kong, India and uh, Dubai. And, uh, we are uh, one of the largest exporters of uh, Indian specs uh, for uh, last 36 to 40 months. We are in the final quarter of this year. Could you tell us how was 2021 different compared to 2020? A lot of businesses have got impacted in a big way. So overall there was not much of impact there on our business as such. Uh, but uh, recently the supply side there are a lot of issues there. I think there is a shortage of uh, chipsets there across the globe not only for mobile phones but for automobiles and for a lot of other electronic products. So overall the business was uh, probably 80% of what we used to do uh, last year. Uh, but this month uh, is really good for Indian specs. Uh, I think we'll be doing close to 16, 17 million dollars uh, worth of exports from India to uh, rest of the world. How do you see the market specifically with the brands that you move? market is extremely good uh, now uh, for brands like MI and Samsung which we majorly move across the globe. Uh, our major markets are of course Middle East and uh, Africa and also we do big business in Latin American markets uh, especially for MI. So both these brands are doing uh, quite well. Along with that we also do OnePlus, Realme, we also do some audio products uh, and uh, Apple also we are doing uh, recently. You are here with us in GSM Exchange Trade Zone, Jitex 2021. How has your experience been so far as an exhibitor? This year's Jitex uh, has seen a wonderful uh, response. Uh, the turnout is uh, really high. I must congratulate uh, GSM Exchange and the whole team for uh, organizing such an amazing event. And we are extremely happy with the kind of response we have received uh, at uh, Jitex 2021. And we look forward to having our uh, booth in the next expo as well. What is it that intrigues you about our industry and keeps you going on? This is uh, one of the industries uh, in which you always need to be on your toes. Uh, if you are not in touch with the industry for 15 days, you are on a long ho holiday. Once you are back, you need to again uh, work hard and uh, get yourself back into the industry. And the opportunities are immense. There are so many products, not only mobile phones, but a lot of other mobility related products, a lot of other electronic products. We can move from one place to another place. And the beauty of this industry is that uh, no CEO in the world can predict supply or demand uh, with even 80% accuracy and that's how uh, all the trading community, all the companies like ours which are doing international trading business uh, come across various opportunities and various markets uh, where there is a gap there and we strive and we do our best to fulfill those gaps and that's how we are doing business and uh, able to do good business in this trade. What does the next one or two years look like for your company in terms of growth and expansion? The Bora group of companies has uh, done extremely well over the last three and a half, four years in international trading space. So we would like to expand our business further. Uh, currently we are doing close to $150 million uh, worth of business every year. We would like to target a business of around $300, $350 million over the next couple of years. For that we would like to certainly expand our business in uh, Middle East and uh, Hong Kong and some other hubs like uh, Miami and uh, we would be getting uh, involved in other specs as well. Right now our focus is mainly Indian specs, so we'll be moving more of global specs, European specs and you know African, Arabic specs uh, over the uh, next couple of years. So that is the strategy for expansion.